What's up, guys? I'm nobody special. And apparently, Elon Musk does not get along very well with J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon. Apparently, this goes a little bit beyond just your standard business disagreements and that the two just don't like each other. Well, if I were Elon Musk and I wanted to get under the skin of a certain J.P. Morgan CEO, I know what I would do. I would buy a few million ounces of silver. You ready? Hit it. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jack Gamble and I'm nobody special. And apparently Elon Musk and Jamie Dimon just don't play nice in the sandbox. Besides the fact that Tesla and JP Morgan are now fighting it out in court over a disagreement involving Tesla stock, apparently the two personalities just don't get along very well. With Musk and Dimon's past efforts to repair the damages between the two companies just spiraling downward into personal dislike for each other. Well, if I was Elon Musk, I know what I would do. First thing I would do would be to blow my nose with a $100 bill just to see what that feels like. The second thing I would do is I would buy millions and millions of ounces of silver. And I'll get into why I would do that in just a minute. But before we get into that, I have to ask folks, could you please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. It really helps me out, helps me to keep this channel growing and I would be forever in your debt. With that, it is time to shrink my big fat melon of a head and get into this. First of all, uh, I was thinking about this issue last night on Twitter, and I just decided to throw this out there. Someone tell Elon Musk if he really wants to burn diamond and JPM, just buy a few million ounces of silver. Hashtag silver squeeze. And this was really just a casual tweet from the porcelain throne here. You know, it wasn't a lot of thought going into this. I just kind of threw it out there. And the more I thought about it, I said, hey, this could actually do something. So I decided to take this tweet and actually turn it into a video on my YouTube channel. Note to self using my YouTube channel to promote my own tweet, Narcissistic Achievement Unlocked. Anyways, I will put a link to this tweet in the description of this video. Please help me get the word out by retweeting this or just tweet this video. Let's get Mr. Musk's attention. Now, what is going on between Musk and Dimon? Well, first of all, let's get into this article. This is on the street.com. Elon Musk and Jamie Dimon reportedly don't get along. JP Morgan sued Tesla last week, saying the EV producer owes it $162 million from a trade it helped arrange seven years ago. JP Morgan Chase's lawsuit against former client Tesla last week might lead you to believe that the two companies' chief executives, Jamie Dimon and Elon Musk, aren't exactly buddy buddy. That's indeed the case, the Wall Street Journal reports, citing knowledgeable sources. Note to self, I cannot stand this trend in the press of citing knowledgeable sources. Put a name on your sources already. Anyways, officials at the companies have gotten upset with each other over the years, and when Diamond and Musk have attempted to repair the damage, they got into it themselves, the sources said. JP Morgan has wanted to distance itself from Tesla for a while, they said in the suit last week. The bank said Tesla owes them $162 million from a trade it helped arrange seven years ago. Musk's response to the journal, if JPM doesn't withdraw their lawsuit, I will give them a one-star review on Yelp. This is my final warning. <laughs> Get some, Elon. Now, why do I say buying silver would hurt JP Morgan? Well, first of all, you have to understand that JP Morgan has a very long and well-documented history of manipulating silver prices lower, okay? going so far as to have been labeled a criminal enterprise by the U.S. Department of Justice, citing tens of thousands of instances of illegal trading activity. And here we can see this is from the DOJ dated September 29th of last year. J.P. Morgan Chase agrees to pay a $920 million settlement in connection with schemes to defraud precious metals in U.S. Treasury markets. And reading a little bit from this legal filing, J.P. Morgan Chase, a New York-based global banking financial services firm, has entered into a resolution with the Department of Justice to resolve criminal charges related to two distinct schemes to defraud, the first involving tens of thousands of episodes of unlawful trading in markets for precious metals futures contracts, and the second involving thousands of episodes of unlawful trading in the markets for U.S. Treasury futures. So J.P. Morgan has a very well-documented history of manipulating prices of precious metals. And even more recently, here we have dated just four days ago, JP Morgan to pay $60 million settlement to precious metal spoofing lawsuit. 
J.P. Morgan Chase agreed to pay a $60 million to settle class action litigation by investors who accused the largest U.S. bank of intentionally manipulating prices of precious metals, futures, and options. The settlement disclosed on Friday stemmed from sprawling U.S. government investigations into a form of illegal trading in precious metals in U.S. Treasury markets known as spoofing. Now, if you don't know what spoofing is, I will link to this video I did on spoofing and how the bankers have used it to manipulate the price of precious metals for years. Now, besides being a criminal enterprise and paying hundreds of millions of dollars in fines to settle prosecutions and lawsuits over manipulating the price of precious metals, keep in mind J.P. Morgan is also the custodian of the SLV ETF. And the SLV ETF, if you're not familiar with it, is this giant sponge of an ETF that is used to absorb the demand for silver without affecting the price of it. And J.P. Morgan is the custodian of that fund. Now, you might be asking yourself, Gee, why is J.P. Morgan, the criminal enterprise that manipulates the price of precious metals, allowed to act as custodian for the SLV, the single largest silver ETF in the world? That's interesting. Good question. But if you're curious as to how the SLV ETF is used to manipulate the price of silver, I highly encourage you to check out some of the writings of a user called Ditch the Deep State on Wall Street Silver, who has done some DD on how J.P. Morgan uses the SLV fund to absorb demand without affecting price. So we've got a pretty established pattern that J.P. Morgan has a vested interest in suppressing the price of silver and other precious metals. So now let's get into how Elon Musk could really cause problems for J.P. Morgan if he wanted to. Again, we are going to shrink my big fat melon of a head. And I want to get into this post here on Reddit talking about the current state of inventories at the COMEX. And this is posted by Reddit user Ditch the Deep State in the Wall Street Silver Group. I highly recommend following him. And you will see right here in this picture that there is currently 97.98 million ounces of silver in the registered category on the COMEX exchange. Now, the registered category is basically the silver that is up for sale. The eligible category is silver that is stored in COMEX vaults, but is not for sale. So right now there is about 98 million ounces of silver on the market. Now the current position limits at the CFTC allow any one individual to hold up to 3,000 contracts at a time, and each contract is worth 5,000 ounces of silver. So in one fell swoop, Elon Musk could buy up 15 million ounces of the 98 million that is available stand for delivery of that 15 million ounces and instantly remove 15 percent of the float from the market that would cost him about 350 million dollars in cash he could do that without any leverage there would be no stop losses for jp morgan to paper smash and hunt for no margin calls they would be unable to do anything to block it he could instantly take 15 percent from the registered category that one single act would absolutely decimate J.P. Morgan's short positions in silver. And as we've seen in some of these recent posts, like the user Ditch the Deep State has said, J.P. Morgan has been using their own metal to suppress the price recently. They have been forced to defend these low prices by selling off some of their own stack. And Elon, if you're watching this and you're still not convinced, take a look at what the price of silver has done these last few days. Here we are looking at about a three-month chart, and somebody in the bullion banking system has been smashing the price of silver down over these last few days. It has dropped over $1.50 an ounce, conveniently timed just before options expiration, as they always do. They smash the price during periods of low liquidity, just in time to make all of these option contracts expire worthless. They hunt the stop losses and the margin calls of smaller traders, allowing them to effectively steal money from people investing in precious metals. They have a documented history of doing it tens of thousands of times over the years, hence being labeled a criminal enterprise. So Elon, if you were to decide to do this, besides preserving a large amount of your wealth by securing it in precious metals and protecting it from inflation, you would also be putting a world of hurt on JP Morgan's criminal enterprise that has been used to suppress the price of metals for years. Now, there have been a lot of people on Reddit and on Twitter saying Elon Musk would never want to do that because Tesla needs silver for their electric vehicles and Tesla needs silver for its solar panels. Why would he intentionally drive up the price of his own metals? Well, I respectfully disagree with that. What Musk would be doing would be guaranteeing the future supply of those metals by securing a large position in it today and thus hedging against future price rises, which if you look at the state of inflation in the world right now, 
that is a good hedge and a very good business decision for Tesla to make. Not to mention, personally, it is a very good business decision because Musk would be preserving his wealth against the decimating effects of inflation. So long story short, if I was Elon Musk and I was involved in this personality clash with Jamie Dimon, the CEO of criminal enterprise precious metal rigging JP Morgan, and I was looking for a way to both protect my wealth, secure future supplies for my company, and put a hurtin' on JP Morgan, I would go ahead and buy a few million ounces of silver. I'd just throw them out there. Elon, you do what you want with them. Anyways, folks, if you want to help get Elon Musk's attention and maybe make this idea a little more likely to happen, you could retweet that tweet that I put out there, or you could just share this video far and wide and hope Elon Musk notices. Guys, that's all I got for you on this one. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, helps me to keep this channel growing. In the meantime, live small and dream big.